good morning students uh, today i am going to explain about the topic is error detection and corrections uh, see the name itself only is saying okay how we are going to detecting the uh, bit error or it is a, like how we are going to correcting the errors while transferring the data from one device to another device okay so this is what the topic and here like we are going to use for the what are the different uh, detection and error correction uh, mechanism uh, like it may be a, uh, like it may be a single bit or it is a burst bit okay like that uh, here are different types okay which we are going to use in this uh, topic uh, so we will see now one by one yes uh, here like how we are going to uh, like identifying the errors and uh, like uh, what time okay the error will be happens while trans uh, like while transmission see the like whenever we we can transfer the data or uh, message okay from one system to another system during that time okay the data will be corrected okay the chances is more because of noisy okay the data has to be corrected okay uh, corrupted so uh, like during that time we are going to apply for the two method that is uh, like we are going to use the error detecting and correction method uh, like for uh, for uh, yeah, for the reliable communication okay the error must be uh, detected and corrected and here like we are going to use for the two types of errors that is single bit error and burst bit error so we will see now what is the single bit error see you look at this diagram okay the sender has to send the uh, like bit okay the bit is zero okay at the receiver side it is going to change the given bit into the uh, like uh, into the another one means uh, like the single bit error the only one bit of the given data unit okay it should be a change from 0 to 1 okay or it is 1 to 0 okay see based on the sender okay sender input suppose the sender um, it is going to send the bit as 1 at the receiver side the 1 okay they are going to change into 0 okay uh, uh, like in other hand the sender has to send the bit as 0 okay in the at the receiver side that zero will be changed to one so this is what the technique of the single bit error okay then next one is what is the burst error see the burst error uh, means uh, like you look at this uh, like um, a diagram here uh, the sender it is going to sense the two datas at the receiver okay whenever uh, like the zero will be changed to one and the one will be changed to zero this is the logic okay we are going to use here the burst error okay which is uh, which is nothing but it is carries the more than two bits at a time uh, in that particular channel okay in the single bit only one uh, bit okay they can travels through the transmission so we can change the 0 to 1 and 1 to 0 but here burst error okay they can allow it more than two bits and like here uh, like that data okay it is going to change from uh, from 1 to 0 and 0 to 1 and this burst error okay uh, it does not necessary uh, for that uh, uh, for uh, occurring the errors uh, for consecutive bits the length of the burst or like the length of the error bit okay they are going to measure from first corrupted bit to the last corrupted bit so this is what the burst error uh, like we are going to use the next one is what is the redundancy yes obviously uh, like the whenever we are going to use for the uh, like uh, correcting the errors and uh, detecting the errors we require redundancy redundancy it is very important uh, for, uh, for for doing the uh, like error correction and uh, detection mechanism because redundancy it is going to uh, adding the extra bit okay or like it is going to giving the uh, what is that term duplicate copy okay that was the redundancy yeah like uh, like uh, we are going to use for the detect or correct the errors okay we need uh, send for redundancy bits okay which is nothing but the extra bit okay i mean extra data we have to send uh, along with uh, along with the sender here uh, like the redundancy bits they are going to add it the sender uh, sender side but the receiver side okay they have to remove the, okay uh, then the error detection uses the concept redundancy which means adding the extra bits uh, like as well as the detecting the errors at the destination side this is what the actually redundancy then uh, now i'll move on to the what is the error uh, detection versus correction yes the error detection as well as the error correction see uh, like we are going to look into the uh, see if any errors uh, has occurred okay 
the answer is simply yes or no okay we are not even interested uh, in the number of corrupted bus okay a single bit error in the same for us uh, bus bit error because the single bit we are going to use for the only one bit and uh, bus bit we are going to adding uh, more than two numbers uh, so that in the error correction is yes, uh, we need to know the extra bit okay extra number of bits uh, that that are corrupted uh, and like more importantly like their their location okay in the message the number of uh, errors uh, as well as the size of the packet or size of the messages are a very important factor here in the error detection technique okay uh, like uh, we need to correct the signals error uh, is and by using the 8 bit data unit okay we need to consider the 8 possibility 8 possibility of the error uh, allocations okay we need to correct two errors uh, in a data unit uh, in the same size okay we have like we need uh, 28 okay 28 times uh, like permutation uh, it is required means 28 times okay the allocations okay we required means 8 by 2 so you have to divide like you have to multiply with that okay you will get 28 permutation okay with 28 possibilities okay we have to do for the error correcting based on the message size uh, like uh, for that yeah, so this is what okay we are going to use for the correction as well as the detection the errors. Uh, like uh, then I'll move on to uh, this one uh, like forward error correction and retransmission. Yes, see the forward error correction as well as the retransmission. There are two methods in the error corrections. The forward error corrections okay is the process of uh, which the receiver try try to guess the message by 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 using the extra bits that is redundant bits and correction by retransmission okay yes uh, like this method uh, the receiver it is going to receive the uh, uh, like it is going to receive or uh, like it is going to uh, detect that particular errors okay that it is going to ask the sender to resend one more time okay at the receiver side we are going to found any deficiency in that particular message okay during that time the sender will be a uh, send the acknowledgement or request to back to the sender to uh, to send this uh, data or to send this message once again so this is what the uh, correction by the retransmission so next i'll move on to the uh, topic is uh, like how it is going to happening for the coding okay in that coding we are going to use for the block coding and uh, like convolution coding these all are the uh, like extra like coding schemas okay we are going to look into the next step thank you